Hello fellow mystics, welcome and thank you for stopping by to my channel, Diaries of a Lunar Soul. I hope your week is going on okay and you're all doing fine. So in this reading we're going to tap into your mind, body and spirit to get an important message that you need to hear right now. Okay, so there are three piles over here and I've sort of divided them into this is the mind, body and spirit or pile one, pile two, pile three. Okay, so feel free to watch the entire reading because you could be getting a message from your mind, you could be getting a message from your body and you could be getting a message from your soul. But if you just want to listen to one part of your spirit, which is either mind, body or spirit, I mean mind, body or soul, then that's okay. Okay, so let's look at the cards. So for pile one, which is the mind, you have the to be fair. Okay, and then for pile two, which is a message from your body, we have message in a bottle. And then for pile three, which is a message from your soul, we have the fits. So take a few seconds, look at these cards, pick the one you feel most drawn to, and then go to the description of this video and click on the timestamps for your relevant video. So I'll see you in your individual pile readings. Hello, pile one. So if you are drawn to this card, to be fair, then we're going to get an important message from your mind, okay? And the moment I got, I saw this message when I was, well, I saw this card when I was channeling your reading, is I feel like some of you there's a there's an event that has happened in your life and you feel like your actions regarding that event have sort of put you off your spiritual path you feel like you're not on the right path when it comes to your spirituality because of something that has just recently happened in the past yeah you feel like the way you acted or, or your decision sort of put you off your spiritual path but with this to be fair card the message coming through from your mind is pal one you are on the right track okay you have not gotten off your path you are on the right path you are on the chosen path okay so if you've been doubting yourself thinking you've back you you've back slid no you haven't you're on the right path okay so that's the that's the main message your mind wants to tell you right now okay things are balanced see to be fair things are balanced okay and I feel like with this owl spirit, with this owl sitting on your head, it's like your guides are telling you whatever decision you made or whatever, however you acted in this situation where you, that caused you to start thinking that you're not on the right path was actually divinely guided. Okay, you are actually, it was actually divinely orchestrated to help you learn something. I feel like your guides are teaching you something with this situation. Okay, so we're going to look at your cards, your oracle cards, and see what the situation is. Okay, so yeah, to be fair, you are on the right path. That's your main message, pal one. You are on the right path. Okay, so stop worrying, stop fearing that you've 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 gone off your spiritual path. You are on the right track. Okay, even though it doesn't seem like that. That's the message with that. Now, I've already shuffled your cards just to save on time, but we're going to shuffle more oracle cards towards the end of the reading. So for now, let's look at the cards that came up. And I've already pretty much looked at a, a little bit for a few minutes, meditated with the cards. So I sort of know the message coming through. And I did that so that I can just give you a more detailed reading because sometimes when we're doing live readings, we're shuffling on camera, it's very easy for the reader to miss some details, okay? So we got the wise leader. You are a beacon for others. Fear. I realize that I am testing my resolve to live in the energy of love. And you got the chimpanzee. Use both your intuition and your intellect to solve the problem or get answers to your questions. Okay, so we'll look at the tarot cards a bit later. Let's let's look at these three cards over here. So with this wise leader, you are a beacon for others. It's just what I said. Whatever it is that has happened in the recent past that is now causing you to start thinking that you're not on the right path was divinely orchestrated. It was sort of like a training ground preparing you to be a leader for others. 
you are learning something from that situation and whatever it is that you've learned out of that situation is going to help you teach other people how to navigate such such a situation okay it's like you are you you are learning by experience okay so that when you teach others you can tell people yeah i've been through that and this is how i tackled it or this is how i felt you know so whatever it is that you're going through was divinely orchestrated and it was just sort of like a training ground to prepare you for something and i feel like to prepare you to be a leader of others in regard to a certain area of life and i feel like it has to do with fear i realize that i'm testing my resolve to live in the energy of fear the way you reacted or the decision you made was train sort of it was like a training ground to help you overcome your fears okay so that decision you made just know it was actually divinely guided there's an owl spirit over here it was sitting right on top of your head meaning that action or that decision you took even though it looks like it was completely off your spiritual path was actually the that was divinely orchestrated guys okay and it was teaching you how to overcome your fears i feel like this situation the decision you made was sort of like driven by fear yeah you are trying to overcome your fear by by taking that action or by making that decision it led you to overcome a certain fear in your life okay and so that that's where you're being told you're on the right path okay so stop doubting yourself whatever happened was a training exercise to prepare you to become a leader of others and to show others how to overcome their fears okay whatever that situation is and with this use both your intuition and your intellect to solve the problem or get answers to your question the message i'm getting here is Yeah, so in fact the message I'm getting here is like I said your mind was try- you were thinking that you've made an ego based decision but really you actually made a very balanced yes oh my god I didn't even notice it see the skills over here to be fair ego and the heart so I feel like the reason you guys feel like you are you are you felt like you were not on the right path is because you thought you had made an ego based decision when it comes ego based decision or an ego based action when it comes to this situation that you're thinking about but you guys are saying nope 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 you actually made a, a decision based on your heart and your mind you just don't realize it and probably that's why this message is so important for you to hear right now so that you can stop doubting yourself that decision was divinely guided it came from your intuition as well as from your own intellect because the best decisions are the ones you make from your heart and your mind yeah your heart is your compass your mind is your mind is your map okay so your heart takes you to what you love but your mind is the one that shows you how to get it okay so you made a rational decision and also you made a heart based decision okay so if you be, if if you're doubting yourself thinking you just made an ego based decision nope 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 the chimpanzee here is telling you use both your intuition and your intellect to solve the problem or get answers to your question okay your yin and yang energies were very much balanced when you're making this decision it doesn't look like that because the lesson you were learning from this situation was how to overcome your fear so even the the the, the the whatever was happening around you was geared to make you fearful of your decision okay but even though you know that that decision i feel like the decision you guys were making was actually making you fearful you were so scared to make that decision and you were so scared to to take that action because you felt like if you took that action then you'd be going off your path you know but i feel like regardless of whether you guys regardless of your fear you still proceeded to take that action okay even though you felt like oh my god this action is going to put me off my path you still overcome that fear and you took that leap of faith you know which is very interesting because by you taking that leap of faith you overcome you overcame that fear okay and that's the lesson you were learning so everything was orchestrated so that you can be fearful and then so that you can learn how to overcome that fear i know the universe sometimes is so twisted in how it teaches us that lesson okay so just know that situation was geared to train you to learn how to overcome your fear and your fear was you are your 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 fear at that moment in time was you are scared if you made that decision you'd be off your path okay guys so yeah that's 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 your message from your mind okay you are on the right path and that decision you made was in line with was divinely guided okay and you made a heart based and a 
mind-based decision. It was, not, it was not an ego-based decision, okay? And whatever situation was happening, that was a lesson pre- geared at preparing you to learn how to be a leader to others, to show people how to overcome their fears, okay? So, yeah. Now let's see what uh, message the tarot cards have for you regarding this situation, okay? So, we got the page of pentacles. Okay. Queen of wands in reverse. Mm -hmm. Five of wands in reverse. And strength card upright. Okay, so like I said, with this page of pentacles, the situation, the page of the pages in tarot are all about lessons, all about learning new things. Yeah, particularly the page of pentacles is all about learning new things. And are you seeing they, they're holding a book and it's upright, meaning this lesson was divinely guided. It was not a lesson that it was not like a lesson to punish you. It was a lesson to to enhance you. So it, if that makes sense, this lesson that you were learning was you are learning it so that you can improve. Sometimes the lessons we get from the universe, sometimes they are punishments, yeah? So if it came not upright, I would feel like it would be a punishment. No, but this lesson you were learning was actually geared at improving you, okay? It was not a punishment, okay, guys? So if you are thinking that you made a mistake when it came to this decision or this action that you took that is now causing you to think that you're not on the right path, no, 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 it was not a mistake. It was divinely guided, okay? This was a lesson that your soul needed to learn in order for you to learn how to overcome your fears, okay? So that's the page of pentacles. Then with this queen of wands, you're being told, the reason you are being taught this lesson is because sometimes you, so l- let me see. Because the queen of swords, in the queen of wands in, in her distorted energy when it's reversed, usually can be someone who's very bossy, who's very a control freak and can also be too overly dramatic, yeah? Blows things out of proportion. And so I feel like, the queen of wands coming through here it's it's sort of what I, I i was i was saying at the beginning that after you made that decision after you after you took that action you now started blowing things out of proportion thinking you're out of your path you know but you're being told no 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 stop being mellow stop being dramatic okay stop stop being a drama queen with this queen of wands over here you are on the right path so stop punishing yourself okay stop Stop blaming yourself. You did nothing wrong. This was all planned and this was a lesson. And this lesson was improving you. It was not a punishment, okay? So it's just a reiteration here that don't be, don't, don't stop blowing things out of proportion, okay? When it comes to this situation, you're, you're, you're taking it too seriously. It was never that serious, okay? <laughs> it was never, it was not, not so serious to the point where that you, it, you, for you guys, you were thinking it is such a serious thing that it put you off your path. But your guys are looking down and saying, oh my God, why is this pile one blowing this thing situation out of proportion? This was such a small lesson. But for some reason, pile one thinks that, that this was such an important event to the point where they're now thinking they're off their path because they've made a mistake. No, 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 no. You're being told, stop blowing things out of proportion, okay? You are still on the right path, okay? So yeah, that's with this queen of wands. And then with this five of wands, you're now being told, to just the, the, to to with it because the five of ones is a card of competition a lot of competition yeah but sometimes it can be healthy competition but i feel like with it coming up uh, reverse i feel like these are the two sides of you the shadow and the light side and you are fighting it's like you are fighting yourself you know and so you're being told with the five of ones i feel like you're being too self-critical so it's just sort of expounding on the queen of wands energy you thinking that you're off your path is you being too self-critical. Stop criticizing yourself, okay? You're not a... I feel like you guys sometimes have these perfectionist tendencies. You, you believe that you should not make any mistake. Like you live your life trying to never ever make a mistake. And that's why you are so scared about making this decision or making taking this action because you are so scared that you, you, are make, you are going to make a mistake and things are not going to be perfect. But this situation, you're being told, stop being overly critical of yourself, okay? Sometimes 
no one is perfect sometimes you win sometimes you lose and it should be okay if you lose okay so that's why you're being told stop blowing things out of proportion whether you lost or won this situation it was such a minute thing to the universe or to the spirit world and yet you you're blowing it out of proportion and that's why you're being told it was such an insignificant lesson okay it was not an insignificant lesson but it was not a huge lesson like it was not a major arcana lesson you know it was it was just a lesson that you were supposed to learn to overcome your fears but it's not a lesson that was that if you made a mistake it would literally put you off your path no 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 it was just a tiny little mistake if it was a mistake okay but like we've seen it was not a mistake so stop being overly critical of yourself stop expecting yourself to be perfect all the time it's okay to fail sometimes and it's okay to make mistakes because we learn from our mistakes but i repeat whatever happened was not a mistake it was divinely orchestrated okay but even if it was a mistake even if the message that came through here was that you made a mistake you're being told nah stop taking things too seriously okay keep your sense of humor it was never that serious okay it was never that serious to the point where you would have been off your path okay that's why you're being reminded hey pal one you are still on the right path okay then with this strength card you're just being told be gentle with yourself okay again it's just a reiteration of from this queen of wands and the five of swords stop being overly self-critical the reason you're thinking you're off your path is because you're blaming yourself you're thinking you've made a mistake but you're being told no this was not a mistake this was a learning this was a lesson you were learning okay and so be kind to yourself speak speak kind words to yourself okay be your best cheerleader okay just like the way this lady is so gentle with the lion and the lion is also gentle with the lady yeah because the lion can instantly just eat up eat her up isn't it but the lion is allowing the lady to even open up its mouth yeah just be gentle with yourself okay so don't be too don't 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 be too harsh with yourself because the strength card is also a card of compassion and i feel like the compassion that the compassion coming through here is compassion with yourself okay be compassionate with yourself the decision you made was from was a balanced one both your yin and yang energies were at play when you were making this decision both your mind and your heart were at play when you're making this decision okay so stop blaming yourself and stop taking things so seriously this was not so serious you're still on the right path guys okay <laughs> and remember that situation was geared at making you learn how to overcome your fears okay so let's end this reading with final guidance message from your higher self regarding just whatever has come through here okay final message from your higher self okay let's pick that one hope hope is always there even if we can't see it optimistic expectations can help change a negative situation into a positive one so this is just what i said see the glass as half full rather than half empty even if even if you were not happy with the outcome of this situation it is it was never that serious it was not that serious it was not so serious to literally put you off your path okay you're still on the right track okay keep moving forward be optimistic this is just them telling you keep moving forward keep progressing forward and there's a dove over here so your guides are with you so keep moving forward don't quit your path you are on the right path and stop blaming yourself okay guys so that's your message wow i hope the messages that have come through here have now cheered you up and now you know you're still on the right path and don't give up on yourself and just if you if you're interested in the other piles like if you want to get another message from your body and also another message from your soul then feel free to watch the other piles otherwise thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video have a lovely week ahead and i'll see you in my next reading bye hello pal too so if you felt drawn to this card a message in a bottle then the reading or the messages in this reading are going to be from your body okay and the moment i saw this card i just immediately thought the people who are going to be drawn to this um pal too feel emotionally overwhelmed because of all this water that is surrounding this card there's so much water in this card and i feel like this bottle is you you're submerged inside the water water is in water in tarot and spirituality represent our emotions okay so and i feel like this is your guides <laughs> trying to pull you out and i feel like you feel so emotionally overwhelmed and you just want someone to help you you just want help you want someone to help you get out of this emotional overwhelm and it's like at the moment it's you you feel a, a little bit alone like no one can help you it's like you're the only one to help yourself so you feel 
you feel a bit isolated in your emo- you feel emotionally overwhelmed and isolated because even if you were to try and explain to people what's going on you f- i feel like the people around you will you you feel like the people around you will not really understand what's going on and so you're just left to try and handle these emotions by yourself even though they are really really overwhelming and it would be really nice if some if you could just talk to someone who would understand what you're going through okay and probably that's why now you are drawn to this reading because you just want a message from your body you want sort of a guidance message your body to tell you how to handle these intense emotions and we've just had the lunar eclipse a couple of i think a day ago as of, as of i'm re- recording this we had the lunar eclipse this is a timeless reading so if you don't if you're watching this and the lunar eclipse is nowhere near it's okay so whatever whatever it is is something that is coming from the last full moon okay so even if you're not watching the lunar eclipse the emotional overwhelm part of this emotional overwhelm is coming from the last full moon from the time you watch this reading okay and you just want help but it's it's like there's no one to help you there are people around you but those people will not understand what you're going through and so you feel so alone because you can't talk to anyone even though there are people around you but i feel like your guys are saying your guys are here with you what you don't see is that your guys are actually trying to get you out of this they're trying to bring you back to the surface you know this is your guide <laughs> they're trying to pull you out of this emotional overwhelm and that's what you don't see okay so yeah you're feeling emotionally overwhelmed so let's see now your message the important message from your body as of now is pal 2 right now you are going through an in intense transfer spiritual transformation okay like you're you're literally moving away from being a human and you're going back to being a spirit you know we are spirits experiencing a human life and i feel like the the people who are drawn to this pile too are star seeds yeah so when star seeds come to earth they usually retain a lot of their spiritual energy other other beings who are not star seeds um when they come to earth they 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 mostly um absorb the human energy a lot of it and they forget a, a, a big chunk of their spirituality because they're meant to experience life as a human being and not as a spirit so they don't really need their spiritual knowledge while they're experiencing the human knowledge but for star seeds because star seeds are here to uplift the vibration of earth they usually retain a lot of their spiritual energy even when they incarnate on earth okay and so i feel like you guys for a while now you've been on your you've been on your human journey but as a star seed your human journey star seeds usually have a double mission to uplift themselves and to uplift the earth yeah so uplift themselves is usually now spiritual transformation and then uplift earth now it's your role as a human being okay but i feel like right now whatever's going on in your body the emotional overwhelm you're feeling is because your body is going through energy you're receiving a lot of energetic upgrades and i did a reading about the mercury retrograde please go watch that reading because i think the messages that came through there are also meant for you okay i'll put a link in the description to that reading you're going through a huge spiritual transformation some of you are going through a kundalini experience okay and even if you've gone through a kundalini experience before it's okay we normally go through other mini kundalini experiences even after the first one so some of you your body is receiving a lot of energetic upgrades your intuition is going to be extremely heightened after this transformation you you're rediscovering who you are you're re- rediscovering your spiritual um energy you're, re- you're rediscovering your spiritual dna so to speak okay and that's why you're feeling really really emotionally overwhelmed yes there might be a situation that has occurred in your life that is causing you to be emotionally overwhelmed but your body is trying to tell you that situation is not the cause of your emotional overwhelm probably that situation is just contributing to maybe 10% of your emotional overwhelm the other 90% is because at the moment you are elevating to a higher spiritual level okay you've done your work and now you are now becoming you're fully integrating your spirit self okay so you're going through a huge spiritual transformation and with that some of you will also experience a little bit of the dark of the dark night of the soul okay so if you've been feeling very depressed and under the weather and you don't know why just know you're going through something called the dark night of the soul that's part of the spiritual ascension so you guys are ascending very fast at this moment in time please go watch that reading that i did for the mercury retrograde pre-shadow 
period because that message that came through there is definitely meant for you guys so that's why you're feeling really emotionally overwhelmed guys you're going through a major spiritual transformation where you're rediscovering this is around this time within the next two weeks you're going to read you if you haven't yet discovered what your spiritual gift is you're going to discover it okay and if you have already discovered what your spiritual gift is it's going to be heightened times a hundred yeah because you're elevating to a new spiritual level okay guys that's why you're feeling uncomfortable that's why you're feeling emotionally overwhelmed there's a lot going on in your body okay and so in fact with this i'm also being um, the other message coming through is you should drink a lot of water okay so that it 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 sort of comes down the the transformation that is going through your chakras are really on overdrive at this moment in time each and every one of your chakras is over functioning because of all the upgrades and downloads you're getting from your spirit guides okay yep so that's what's happening you're rediscovering your spirit self okay you're you, from now on you're going to be so connected to your higher self and your intuition is going to be so heightened you won't believe it like you'll just be getting intuitive hits left right and center you know your third eye chakra is going is fully opening up that's the message yeah your third eye chakra and your crown chakra are now fully opening up usually the chakras open up di at different stages they don't open up all together so I feel like on this spiritual journey that you're on, so far it's been your root chakra, your sacral chakra, your solar plexus chakra, your heart chakra, and your throat chakra that have been opened fully, okay? But your third eye chakra and your crown chakra had not yet opened up fully. And that usually happens only after you've balanced out the other chakras in the lower levels, okay? And now you're in that stage where you're now elevating. So you're now ready to have your third eye chakra fully opened and your crown chakra fully opened okay and that process of the third eye chakra and the crown chakra fully opening is going to be so uncomfortable and that's where you're feeling the emotional overwhelm okay that's the message from your body okay guys <laughs> so if you've been worried that it's this other situation that is causing you to be depressed now whatever situation is happening to you right now you have no control over it because it's a spiritual uh, process it's something spiritual that is happening to you that is causing you to be emotionally overwhelmed okay so take it easy don't be too hard on yourself okay so let's see what your uh, oracle cards have to say and I've already shuffled them and meditated with them a little bit for a few minutes but we're going to shuffle more cards towards the end of the reading just to get more messages so you got journey by moonlight believe in magic Surrender, I can release my need to control. And Spider, trust the creative spark you're feeling and express it through writing stories that inspire and enlighten. Okay, we'll look at the tarot cards later on. So with these three cards, it's just reiterating what I said. This journey by moonlight, believe in magic. What did I tell you? It's you guys rediscovering your spiritual gift. Yeah. Whenever we incarnate here, we sort of have amnesia. We don't remember our spiritual um, purpose and role because we're meant to discover it as we go along life. Yeah. But now you guys have reached a point where it's time for you to know everything about your spiritual um, purpose and your spiritual uh, essence. Okay. You guys are now becoming a spirit, literally. You're going back to your spiritual um, self. You're no longer, in fact, the path you're now walking on, you've finished your human purpose. Like if there's something you guys were doing, the goals you had as a human, you've accomplished them. Now you're moving into a phase of life where you are going to now just be led by your spiritual path. Your spiritual purpose is going to guide you into all the next careers that you're going to be in or all the next relationships that you're going to be in are going to be very much influenced by your spiritual beliefs and and goals, okay? So believe in magic, okay? You now be re remembering that you are a spirit experiencing a human life and it's not just you, that you're a human being, okay? so that's journey by moonlight the, and what did i say about your intuition opening up yeah the moon in tarot and in spirituality represents our intuition okay so the emotional overwhelm you're feeling is because your third eye chakra is opening up expect your intuition to be extremely heightened in the next two weeks okay this mercury pre-shadow phase i feel like is the time it will take for your body to fully integrate this new you this new spiritual self that is emerging okay it's like you're i feel like up to this point you've been an onion and you've been um 
removing the layers of the onion till you get now to the middle point where who you, the essence of who you are which is a spirit so your intuition is really really heightening and that's why you feel emotionally overwhelmed okay and with this surrender card i can release my need to control are you saying this is the dna <laughs> i feel like this is this looks like a dna isn't it like the dna the cell and i feel like this is what i said you have no control over whatever is happening because it's happening at a cellular level okay the transformation that is occurring the spiritual transformation that is occurring within you is happening at a cellular level and you have no control over it so if you've been trying to if you've been thinking that this you're doing something wrong and that's why you're feeling emotionally overwhelmed you're being told no you are on the right path and you're not doing anything wrong whatever's happening is beyond your control there's nothing you could have done in order for you to feel better okay so just embrace these feelings honor those emotions feel those emotions if you feel sad cry if you feel angry express it in a safe way don't harm any other person but feel those emotions and don't try to escape them don't try to fix them you cannot fix them it's out of your control okay because it's happening at a cellular level all those unwanted energies within you are coming to the surface for release and if what did i say guys about oh my god what did i say about the full moon didn't i say something about the full moon like the last full moon that we've had has is is sort of also contributing to this um cleansing you're literally being cleansed so that your spiritual essence can shine through even more yeah lately it's just been your human essence but now your spiritual essence wants to come to the forefront and something about the last full moon whatever time you're watching this reading the last full moon is the one that began this whole uh, spiritual transformation okay so yeah so just connect with the moon and your intuition is opening up and it, you you just need to honor your emotions don't blame yourself for feeling angry don't blame yourself for feeling moody don't blame yourself for feeling lazy whatever's happening is out of your control okay but like i said you, you uh, don't just because you're angry doesn't mean you can harm other people no 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 you have to be logical yeah be rational just because you're lazy doesn't mean you should stop showering <laughs> because you're surrendering to the process no 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 keep doing the things that you need to do but understand that some of these emotions are beyond your control okay there's nothing you can do to change the situation it's happening and until it finishes you're just going to feel this emotional overwhelm so your third eye chakra and your crown chakra are now fully opening up and this uncomfortability that you're feeling right now is because of that okay and it's happening at a cellular level then so you're being told because you so now that you're not in control of this you're being told in the meantime as this is happening remember i said your intuition is going to be fully opened it's like you're going to receive the secrets of the universe with this spider card trust the creative spark you're feeling and express it through writing stories that inspire and enlighten i feel like this is your guide saying pal to you're getting see oh my god now i get it this is where i get the message in a bottle um card so what happens is now your intuition is opening up i feel like you'll be getting so many downloads the answers to all your problems will be coming to you in your dreams okay with this moon card over here journey by the moonlight i feel like all the answers if there's anything that you want answered just before you sleep ask the universe to give you that answer and in the morning you'll get that answer and in the morning when you wake up write it down i feel like you're being told to start a dream journal guys okay trust the creative spark you're feeling and express it through writing stories that inspire and enlighten start a dream journal because all the answers you need are now going to come to you through your sleep okay as your intuition opens up as your third eye chakra opens up the first way usually uh once your third eye chakra and your crown chakra open up you don't need to dream to get downloads you can just connect to the spirit guides anytime anywhere okay but for now as it's opening up i feel like your guys the way that they're communicating with you with this message in a bottle is through your dreams okay so all the answers you need just ask your guides to give you those answers in your dreams and the moment you wake up in the morning write down whatever it is that you remember you'll be so shocked at how you'll be able to solve all your problems very very quickly okay so that's what's happening over here and then also you're being told if this emotional overwhelm becomes too much just also find a way to to write about it okay because like i said some of you feel like you 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 have people around you and you're feeling emotionally overwhelmed but these people you feel like these people will not understand you even if you are to explain to them what's going on they won't understand you because maybe they, they're not on your spiritual level they don't 
you're not on the same spiritual you don't have the sp- same spiritual beliefs yeah so if you start telling them oh my god i'm going through a kundalini experience and it's causing all my chakras to <laughs> go haywire and now i'm feeling overwhelmed they'll be looking at you like uh what is this person talking about you know so being told if the people around you won't understand you and you still want some outlet then write it down okay write this write on a journal start keep a journal just for the time being so that you can because journaling writing is a way to release your emotions just the same way crying helps us release our emotions even writing things down helps us release those emotions so write it on a piece of paper and then burn that piece of paper or just leave it in the journal okay so you're being advised that if you f- become very emotionally overwhelmed and you want a way to to let out these emotions because you need to let out these emotions if you keep them in then you're just bottling things up and then at some point you'll blow up you know so one way to release these emotions is through writing them down okay and then the other message that i've just said from now on anytime you need an answer to your problem before you sleep ask your spirit team to give you an answer by the morning and you have gotten it okay because your intuition is extremely heightened especially at night with the moon energy over here Okay guys, so that's the message from your body. Let's see what more tarot cards have to say. So guys, you're going through something called a kundalini experience and a dark night of the soul because you're elevating spiritually. You're moving to a higher level, okay, in terms of your spirituality. An intense, intense um, transformation is going through in you right now. And that's why you feel emotionally overwhelmed. So let's see what the tarot have to say. King of Cups, yep. Okay, and then you got the king of wands oh my god you have so many kings Mm -hmm. justice card okay and ace of wands so with this king of cups is just what i said king of cups sometimes can is 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 known as someone who has a very um is very emotionally balanced but when they're feeling emotionally overwhelmed but they can also feel emotionally overwhelmed and when they do feel emotionally overwhelmed oh boy they really feel emotionally overwhelmed so that's just reiterating what i said that you guys at this moment in time feel emotionally overwhelmed okay just emotionally overwhelmed by everything that's going on around you and i feel like with this are you seeing that people that kids around so some of you might just be feeling emotionally overwhelmed by loved ones yeah there's so much going on and i like i said remember what i said at the beginning if you've been feeling emotionally overwhelmed right now you guys are thinking it's because of the people around you that are the ones causing you to feel emotionally overwhelmed but guess what the universe is saying nope only 10% it's only 10% of the of that emotion that is coming from other people the other 90% is coming from this huge transformation that you're going through are you seeing with this king of wands see both these are kings you feel like it's the people around you that are causing you to be emotionally overwhelmed nope it's just 10 percent of them majority of the emotional overwhelm you're feeling is coming from above are you seeing here this lightning is striking the wand i feel like this is you yeah you're rising to become the true version of yourself your true version your spirit self is coming through yeah and you're getting these downloads from above yeah so and i feel like these people are looking at you in in awe and i feel like these are your guides (laughs) these are your guides the way i told you your guides have been trying to help you through this situation they're helping you through this situation you're not alone you've been feeling like you're alone but you're not alone your guides are with you throughout so part of this emotion majority of this emotional overwhelm pile too is because your spirit is elevating it's a spiritual um cause rather than a human cause okay so yes, maybe a little some some of it is coming from the people around you, but majority of it is because internally with this surrender card you're experiencing a huge spiritual transformation, okay? And to become a better version of yourself, to become the true you, to show the magic in you, okay? You're rediscovering the witch in you, you're rediscovering the wizard in you. <laughs> okay? Your spirit is now coming to the forefront. It's telling your body, your human body, "Hey, hey, hey." relax you've done your part now it's my turn to drive okay your spirit now wants to be the driver of your life up to now it's been your human self but now your spirit is coming to the forefront and saying i'm the one in charge your higher self is saying i'm in charge i'm driving this car from now on i've given you too much freedom to drive now it's my turn to drive okay 
then but then we ju- this justice card is like what i uh, i think what i said you're going to be feeling so emotionally overwhelmed are you saying she's like she's even massaging her feet like a long day so being told when because justice is also a kind of imbalance balancing yeah balancing the scales so if you feel like this emotional overwhelm is too much your spirit guides are saying the universe is giving you permission to just remove some things from your list okay if there's some chores you need to do it's okay you can do you can reschedule some things and just relax it's okay for you to pamper yourself okay and you're being told listen to your body listen to your wisdom the wisdom of your body if you feel energized go ahead and do whatever it is that you want to do but if you feel so drained it's okay just sit back on the couch relax and do nothing until you get back your energy okay because this spiritual transformation is taking a toll on your body okay and you need to do whatever it takes to keep yourself grounded okay and that's what you're being told listen to you with the wisdom of your body if you feel energized fine proceed and do those chores but if you feel tired it's okay the universe is giving you permission to just take a break okay once in a while don't push yourself too much because there's a lot happening in your body right now and some of you are also being told to eat eat well okay you need a little bit more food right now because of how much is going on in your body okay so increase if you've been eating 500 grams of food maybe add like 100 more grams and eat 600 grams okay and drink a lot of water because it will help with this it will make this transformation process much smoother and more efficient if you eat well and you drink a lot of water okay so that's what you're being told just listen to the wisdom of your body if you feel energized go ahead and do your chores but if you feel tired it's okay pull back relax until you get energy again and continue and then the other message i'm getting here is some of you are being told to take naps it's okay for you to take some nap okay take schedule in some naps in your routine okay so that you can help this transformation you can make this transformation process more comfortable for yourself and then with this ace of wands it's just reiterating what i said here with the trust the creative spark you're feeling and express it through writing stories that inspire and lighten the ace of wands are all about um igniting your passion you know following your passion and igniting it you have this idea and you want to run with it and i feel like you're being told this is a time for you to focus on your creative passion what is your passion like i feel like this transformation process will go much quicker and you will be more comfortable if you distract yourself with your hobby so find a hobby find something that you really love doing that even if you do it you don't even feel tired because you really enjoy it like and time just passes without even you realizing and focus on that if you focus on your hobby if you focus on your passion then you'll feel less emotionally overwhelmed because this passion will it will give you more energy to keep going okay and it will make it will distract you from the emotional overwhelm you're feeling because you'll be so engrossed in what you're doing that you won't even notice that there's so much transformation happening in, in you so you're being told to distract yourself with a hobby and you'll feel less emotionally overwhelmed and if you distract yourself you'll be giving the universe time to work on you yeah sometimes when we focus too much on something we're not giving the universe space to work on on our body or whatever goal it has for us yeah we need to give it time so that it can do its job yeah you need to silence your mind so that the 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 universe can work on finishing this transformation process within you okay so distract yourself focus on your hobby that hobby is going to give you energy to keep going that hobby is going to make you feel less overwhelmed because this hobby makes you feel so happy you know <laughs> so yeah that's the message from your tarot cards so now let's get one final guidance message from your higher self regarding just what's come through okay and then end the reading guys if you feel uh if you are drawn to the other uh pals feel free to watch them because it could just mean you want to also listen to the message a message from your mind and a message from your soul okay and i feel like for you guys whatever's happening here because now what has come through is spiritual transformation i feel like the messages in pile three because pile three we are channeling a messages a message from your soul i feel like the messages there will also be relevant for you because of the spiritual transformation that's happening here okay so let's see one final guidance message for you for pile two from your body and from your higher self okay those are two cards yeah we'll take I, i'll take this one because this one is open we'll put back this one so yeah hidden depths something hidden is about to come to light perhaps a secret or a memory at the back of your mind when we explore what's hidden we can become free what did i say guys you are rediscovering your spiritual gifts and i feel like this is all green here and i feel like you guys are healers okay 
your healers your spiritual gift has to do has to do with healing yeah whether it's emotional healing mental healing or spiritual healing you are healers your spiritual healers in some way and right now whatever's happening this transformation that is happening within you is geared at making you remember that you are a spiritual healer it's geared at making you remember your spiritual gifts as a healer so that you can go on and help other people okay hidden depths yeah with this dna it's coming from a cellular level okay so just know whatever's happening is geared at making you remember what you had forgotten when you incarnated here you're you're going to know all the secrets of the universe after this transformation is complete guys okay wow 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 <laughs> right so i think that's all i have for you guys i hope the messages that have come through here have been useful and i've made you a bit fe- feel more cheerful and if you're interested in the other readings like i said feel free to watch them otherwise see you in my next reading bye hello pal three so if you are drawn to this card the fates then the messages that come through in this reading are going to be from your soul yeah and so it's interesting before i even shuffled these cards i already knew that pile three i want pile three to be the um the reading for the soul and then this card came up and it's so fitting the fates and the soul seem so connected isn't it <laughs> yeah so the fates so let's see what important message that your soul have for you so with this fate card i feel like you guys have been trying to manifest something into your life yeah you've been trying to manifest something whether it's stability yeah with the with the 17 card here seven and one is eight and eight is all about abundance yeah Ab- abundance eight 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 infinite infinity yeah so i feel like some of you have been trying to manifest st- more stability into your life yeah whether it's emotional stability or materials or financial stability you've been trying to manifest some sort of stability into your life and it's like it's taking forever to 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 manifest and now you're starting to feel a bit worried and just frustrated with this um situation or your spiritual purpose yeah so that's the energy that i'm getting with this the fates card but the message from your soul is this with the fates the fates card is all about divine timing so the message your soul the important message your soul has for you pile three is this whatever it is that you're trying to manifest is going to come to you in divine timing divine timing is at play and whenever divine timing is at play it means if you haven't yet received your manifestation it means it's not yet the right time for you to receive it that's one the other thing could also be it's not yet you, you, there, there's something you still haven't done and once you do it then it's going to come because everything has a has a has a divine timing stamp on it yeah but i feel like for you guys it's the first option whatever it is that you guys are trying to manifest has not yet manifested into your life because divine timing is not yet at play because i feel like you still there's still some things the universe is doing some things in the background there's still a lot of things that are happening in the background to to orchestrate a series of synchronistic events to bring you to an instant where you will now see your manifestation happen okay there's a lot going on in the background and you just need to be a little bit more patient okay with the universe things in the 3d world don't happen as fast as in the 5d world and i feel like the message coming through here is in the 5d world your manifestation already exists in energetic form it's already here it's just that now the universe is trying to figure out okay so we already have pile 3's manifestation how do we make it tangible how do we make it physical so that they can receive it the human self can receive it okay and it's that that transformation that's transmutation from it being an in an energetic form to a physical form that requires you to be patient and and wait for divine timing okay so divine timing is at play it's not the universe um being mean to you and just not giving you what you want i feel like some of you have been feeling like the universe is punishing you by not giving you what you want and that's not the case no 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 divine timing is just at play it's not yet the right time for you to receive this thing either because there's a lesson you need to learn or the universe is still trying to figure out how to connect a b and c in order for you to receive this thing in the physical plane okay so that's the message whatever it is that you're trying to manifest pile three this stability that you're trying to manifest into your life is being guided by divine timing okay and it's important for you to be patient okay be very patient the fates whatever you've manifested is yours okay with the fate here you're fated to have this thing it's your fate 
it's your birthright to get this thing that you've manifested you're going to get it one way or another okay so that's what your your soul is telling you you're going to get it whether it's this year or next year you are going to definitely get it it's just now a matter of divine timing okay so you're being told just be patient it's already yours okay <laughs> the universe is not punishing you what is yours is going to be yours okay and it's not going to be given taken away from you or given to someone else that's the message divine timing is at play so now let's look at your oracle cards and i've already shuffled them but we'll shuffle more oracle cards towards the end of the reading and i've already taken a pick of them just for a few minutes just to see what's going on but i haven't really uh taken time to understand the messages coming through so we're going to do that now so fogged in go slow take time and this is when i saw your cards i was like oh my god i should have just shuffled these cards on camera okay because of how the messages were so in sync with what i was getting intuitively and then you got patience yep <laughs> i accept that everything happens in divine order yeah i should have shuffled these cards on camera because the message of this fits is usually divine timing in and of itself so even if we didn't have these cards the same message that are coming through in these cards are, are, are also meant for this card okay interesting and then unicorn indulge your creative imaginative and magical side through some form of artistic expression guys if you are drawn to pile two if you felt a little bit drawn to pile two which is the message from your body i highly encourage you to go watch that reading because i believe the messages in that pile two reading are definitely meant for you there's a lot of um correlation between this reading and that reading okay and even the first pile because they're all mind body and spirit but particularly for you guys pile two okay these are your tarot cards we look at them later on so for now let's see fogged in patience and the unicorn so yeah it's just the same thing that i was just saying earlier whatever it is that you're trying to manifest you just need to be patient I accept that everything has happens in divine order there's divine timing at play so if you haven't received it yet it's not that you've done something wrong okay it's not that the universe is punishing you it's not that you're not doing things the right way no 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 divine timing is at play and i feel like whatever's happening is geared at making you learn how to be more patient okay it's like the universe is also is intentionally not giving you what you want in order to to, to teach your soul patience yeah <laughs> i feel like some of you sometimes are impatient and so this situation is geared at making you learn how to be more patient okay because patience is a virtue so divine timing is at play and then with this fogged in go slow take time so yes with this card now the message coming through here is some of you because you're not seeing the results of your you're not seeing this manifestation happen as fast as you wanted it to then you're now tempted to change direction you're tempted to turn this boat and go and do something else instead because you're not just seeing the results of your manifestation so you want to change your goals but you're being told no 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 don't change direction stay on the course okay even though you can't see fogged in yeah even though you can't see the the fruits of your labor even though you cannot see your manifestation happening right now things are happening in the background guys okay things are happening in the background that you don't you don't know about and don't, just stay on the course and keep moving forward take a leap of faith on the universe and just keep moving forward don't change the direction of this boat keep moving forward but as you move forward go slow okay don't rush don't rush yourself okay just take it easy and go slow the take your time part is also you deciding to change direction and do something else is you being impulsive and you're being told this is not a time for you to be impulsive okay if you're not sure about a course of action don't do anything okay that's what i feel like i feel like you guys have the hanged man card you know like just this is a time for you to just be still and wait okay surrender to none action but keep moving forward okay keep following your true north don't change direction you are on the right path guys okay you're on the right path the thing that you want has not yet happened because divine timing is at play you're also probably being taught by the universe how to be more patient okay so once you integrate this lesson of patience oh boy your manifestation is going to come to you in an instant okay so for now just be patient stay on the course don't change direction don't make any impulsive moves okay that take you away from this path stay on course okay stay on course don't change this boat be patient okay that's the message coming through and whenever you feel like you're being impatient with this unicorn card 
you're being told indulge your creative imaginative and magical side through some form of artistic expression you're being told anytime you start feeling impatient do something fun distract yourself do you have a hobby what is your hobby yeah focus on your hobby because if you focus on your hobby whenever we are engrossed in something and we we forget everything else like whenever you you distract yourself then you won't be impatient because you won't be thinking about that thing you know so distract yourself so that you stop thinking about this manifestation i feel like some of you are being impatient because it's the only thing you're thinking about so try and find something else to distract you and the moment you distract yourself this thing will come to you without even you realizing it will come to you so fast that you'll be like oh i didn't even realize this much time has gone by because you've been focusing on your passion so do something fun as you wait for your manifestation to happen okay to come into the physical plane it's like you're being told play while you wait okay play while you wait find to find something fun to do as you wait for your manifestation to happen and you'll stop feeling so impatient okay because your mind will be distracted you won't be thinking about this thing all day all night okay you'll have other things to do and before you know it so the enough the divine timing that we are waiting for will have passed and it will be ready for you to receive your manifestation in the physical plane okay so distract yourself anytime you start feeling impatient that this manifestation is not happening distract yourself do something fun okay when you do something fun you'll be giving the universe time to keep on orchestrating those series of events that will bring you to an, to a, the right place at the right time to receive your manifestation okay and i feel like some of it is stability that you're trying to manifest and w- whatever that stability is whether it's emotional stability or financial stability I feel like it will also come to you when you least expect it. With this fates card, it will come when you least expect it. So if you've been thinking that the more you think about it, then the more chances you have of it manifesting. No, 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 no. It will happen when you least expect it. And how will you least expect it when you're having fun? Okay? So have more fun and your manifestation will actually happen, okay? <laughs> Because when you're having fun, you will not be expecting this manifestation to occur, isn't it? And guess what? When you're having fun, that's exactly when that manifestation will happen okay so if you want this manifestation to happen have more fun and it will come to you when you least expect it okay so that's the message here this manifestation is working with divine timing okay divine timing is at play and it will come to you at the ra- when it's the right time and also it will come to you when you least expect it okay So if you've been thinking that you'll know when it will come no 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 it will come when you least expect it so the only way for you to put yourself in that space where you least expect it is if you play okay play whilst you wait okay guys so now let's see what your tarot cards have to say and you got the moon card mhm the hanged man what did i say guys about the hanged man <laughs> Yeah, don't do anything. Okay. Uh Queen of Wands in reverse. Okay. And the Queen of Pentacles. Oh my god, you guys you need to watch part 2 because similar cards but in a different way came up. So just watch part 2 and even part 1. Watch this entire reading. <laughs> and the Queen of Pentacles upright. So with this the moon card let's see yeah i feel like you, you right now you're feeling a bit emo- fr- frustrated emotionally overwhelmed and emotionally frustrated because there's so much uncertainty surrounding this manifestation there's so much you don't know about this manifestation that you'd wish you'd know like you want to know when it will happen how it will happen where it will happen you know you want the details but the universe is not giving you the details because the moon card is also a card of uncertainty yeah you don't know what's going on the moon is very unpredictable okay in the sky it changes its energy changes so quickly across the sky so it carries an unpredictable energy yeah and so i feel like the way you're feeling right now your energy right now is you are so you you don't like the uncertainty that is surrounding you right now this uncertainty you you people who normally like to know things you know so that you can control the situation but right now you feel like you're out of control you're not in control of the situation you think she's drowning it's like she's trying to grasp and get up to the surface of the water to know what's going on but she just keeps drowning inside i feel like that's you guys you feel like you are not in control of the situation yet you people who normally like to be in control yeah 
you want stability but it's your life life right now is so unstable and so uncertain and it's making you feel so uncomfortable you know <laughs> and yeah and that's how that's your energy okay but you're being told regardless of the uncertainty and instability that is within in your life right now you're being told do not resist resist your urge to do something resist the urge to change direction okay that's why i put it underneath the fogged in card hanged man do nothing this is a time for you to surrender to non action embrace this uncertainty this is a time for you to trust in the unknown okay trust in the unknown trust that the universe is doing something in the background for your benefit okay even though you cannot see the the physical results of your manifestation just know it's happening in the background so resist the urge to change direction you are on the right path guys okay you're on the right path don't change direction don't do anything impulsive don't do anything hasty don't make any rushed decision okay this is a time for you to do nothing divine timing is at play and everything you need will come to you at the right time at the right place okay in divine order so just be patient okay like this hanged man do nothing <laughs> okay don't change course you are on the right path then with this queen of wands in reverse the queen of wands usually can be very impatient and it's interesting that it's been put underneath the impatient card she can be very impatient sometimes and she wants to she's a busy body she constantly wants to do things yeah this is the a type of queen who is described as she's a jack of all trades she's always up and about doing something yeah she's a socialite she just keeps on she's always busy always doing something but it came in reverse and it just augments what i just said here you just need to be patient and do nothing this is not a time for you to control the situation okay this is not a time for you to control the situation this is a time for you to receive from the universe and that's why the next card is the queen of pentacles this is the advice from the universe telling you just chill yeah see with these two cards which card looks like she's doing something this one yeah there's something she's doing with this fire over here she's so energetic she wants to go 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 but then the queen of pentacles is very grounded she's just sitting on her chair waiting for things to come to her the queen of pentacles is the most affluent queen in tarot yeah and if it's stability that you guys want if it's financial stability that you guys want you're being told this financial stability will come to you in an effortless way Are you saying you're being told there's you've done everything you can to manifest this stability into your life now it's a time for you to relax be patient and let the universe do its magic for you okay guys don't push yourself too hard surrender to non action you've done your 50% now allow the universe to do its 50% okay surrender to non action that's you're being told you're on the right path you've done your 50% okay stay on course don't change your direction because you're thinking oh my god because i haven't yet manifested my stability then there's something wrong i'm doing and i need to change direction so that i can re- rectify my mistakes no 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 you're being told in regard to this manifestation whatever it is that you're trying to manifest you've done everything right okay now it's just a time for you to sit back and relax and wait for the universe to deliver your gift to you okay guys it's coming but it's going to come in divine timing and remember what i said This divine timing is going to happen when you're having fun and when you least expect it. So have fun and this stability that you want is going to come to you effortlessly. Are you seeing? These two cards are underneath each other. She's just enjoying herself. Yeah, she's enjoying herself and she's received a pentacle over here just by doing nothing and enjoying herself. So don't push yourselves too much, guys, okay? Your manifestation will come to you with the least amount of effort and it's not because you you haven't done anything no 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 it's coming to you because you've done your 50% in the past and now it's time for you to allow the universe to bring in its 50% in form of your manifestation okay so surrender to non action and be patient anytime you feel impatient is you're starting to feel impatient find something fun to do okay because Whatever it is that you guys are trying to manifest will come when you're having fun, when you least expect it. If you keep thinking about it constantly, then it's not going to come to you. Yeah? Because you're thinking about it, you're expecting it. But when you least expect it, which is when you're not thinking about it and when you're having fun doing other things, that's when this thing is going to come. Okay? So distract yourself. Anytime you feel impatient, focus on something else. But remember, stay on your path. Okay? You are on the right path. Don't do anything rushed. Okay? Don't change your direction. Don't change your course. You are on the right path. Just do something that is fun, okay? To distract yourself. Don't change direction. I hope the messages there are clear, okay? 
So let's end this reading with final guidance from your higher self regarding what has come through. What more messages do they, does your higher self have for you guys? So guys, trust in the unknown, embrace this uncertainty and have fun. I repeat, this thing, this manifestation is going to come to you when you're having fun, okay? Not when you're thinking about it in the house, constantly obsessing over, over, over it. If you constantly obsess over it, then you're going to delay it coming, okay? So just distract yourself and do something else, okay? And then you'll see it will come to you much quicker. Resist the urge to try and control the situation, yeah? Don't become this queen of wands over here. Be the queen of pentacles, very grounded. And not a busy body. Ooh, okay. Those are too many cards. So final message for pile three. Final message for pile three. From your higher self. Ooh, okay, those are too many cards. I just want one, guys. One card. Okay, that one life energy the happy fairy of sunshine brings lots of life giving energy she reminds you to shine your light and to reveal anything in the shadows that needs to be healed so the message coming through here is this is the sun card if i was to relate this card to any other card in tarot it would be the sun card and the sun card is in tarot is all about playing okay and remember what i said play whilst you wait okay so you're being told just go out and have fun let the sun the sun rays energize you okay so go out and have some fun take a break from overthinking about this goal and just have fun and when you take a break from thinking about this goal then oh boy the universe is going to bring you that manifestation to you okay so just have fun okay the happy fairy of sunshine brings lots of life-giving energy she reminds you to shine your light and to reveal anything in the shadows that needs to be healed so the more fun you have the quicker this situation will be healed okay by healing it means the faster your manifestation will happen the more fun you have the quicker your manifestation will come into the physical plane guys okay that's what your higher self is telling you so have some fun stop being so serious guys have some fun take a break if you guys have been working 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 then you're being told it's okay the universe is giving you permission to take a break even if it's for an entire day and just do something that you enjoy do something that you love doing okay stop pushing so hard the art of manifestation requires you to go with the flow of the river okay so that you can receive what the universe wants to bring to you with this manifestation the fits whatever it is that you guys have asked the universe for is meant to be for you and it will not be kept away from you okay it can be delayed but it will not be kept away from you. So trust that if you're patient and if you play, the thing, the, the thing that you guys are trying to manifest will come to you. Okay, guys? So, yeah, I think that's all I have for you for today. I hope the messages that have come through here have cheered you up with this life energy card over here. And they've made you more uh, optimistic, uh, optimistic about your manifestation and have it, it's going to help you be more patient yeah? and surrender to divine timing. Otherwise, if you are drawn to the other cards, like I said, for you guys, I feel like the messages in pile two would be so relevant for you. But feel free to also watch pile one if you are drawn to it. Otherwise, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. Have a lovely week ahead and I'll see you in my next reading.